It's an unusually quiet Sunday for Lisa Newman. Oh. Her three kids with friends and family so she can rest. Bone and like joint pain, so like I get really stiff. Um, I have trouble walking a little bit sometimes. It's hard raising three kids as a single mom and working full time. If only that was all Lisa had to worry about. Sam looked at me and said, um, Mom, I'm clearing the house of all the really big, bad cancer monsters so they can't hurt you anymore. <laughs> and that makes me feel guilty because he's only four. <laughs> and he doesn't understand. Lisa is battling Hodgkin's lymphoma for the third time in six years. I'm okay, I guess. <laughs> By now, she's pretty good at downplaying her needs. She doesn't want to be a burden, so when people offer to help, she usually says no. Thankfully, some refuse to listen. All right, you guys ready? This is what we call winner, winner, chicken dinner. Ginny Loudon is a personal chef and mom of five. My kids are looking for me. They know where to come. For the last right. few months, Ginny and her friends have been cooking for Lisa. They knew she was going through chemo and wanted to take a few meals off her plate. We try to do um, five to seven dinners. We do a breakfast, a dessert, and sometimes side dishes, depending on what's on the menu. It's pretty impressive, a smooth system of prepping and packing dozens of meals in just a few short hours. But there's a reason they make it look so easy. They've been doing it not just for Lisa and not just for the last few months, but for other families for the last several years. We started out with one family a month and have picked up little odd, you know, ones here and there like, oh, we hear somebody needs two meals and make a couple extra. Ginny and her friends Debbie and Nikki started these weekend cookathons in 2014 when their friends, the Thurbers, were balancing six kids and cancer. And one of their children was diagnosed with Ewing sarcoma. Uh, she was 10 years old. And we were looking at each other like, well, what we can do to help? We want to help, but like, what do we have to give? And I was like, I know how to cook. And so it began. With generous community donations of money and food, the three started cooking meals for the Thurbers. And before they knew it, their good deed turned into a nonprofit. They called it Food with Love. Our friends needed our help, and it just worked. And we realized that it really was helping them. Now, once a month, that home-cooked food made with love. We did Jimmy Dean egg and muffins this time. It's hand-delivered to those who need it most, but are reluctant to ask. Like she said, I would like to do this for you. This is the day we're cooking. Does that work for you? Well, I have five kids. What would be the hardest part for me? And since I cook all the time, if I couldn't cook for my kids, I don't know what I would do. A generous gesture of empathy, not just sympathy. The difference between offering help and helping. I just thank you, like, I, I can't say thank you enough. I'm gonna hug you. Go do that. <laughs> go, go cry. Oh, I'm so glad that this helps. It does, like, I can't even tell you how much, like, not having to worry about it is, is just, it's the little things really make the biggest difference. Because life's most difficult challenges are a little easier to swallow when your stomach and your heart are full. Thank you doesn't seem like enough, but it's plenty. Okay. Amy Hockard, Fox 9.